shall be lovers of themselves and haters of God. Like a thief in the night, you will come to judge all the world in the end time. In the end. In the end time. In the end time. Oh, 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 oh. In the end. Men shall be lovers of themselves and haters of God. Like a thief in the night, you will come like a thief in the to judge night. all the world in the end time. In the end time. In the end. In the last days, iniquity will abound, and sin will reign supreme all over the world. Brother will betray brother, and sister will deceive sister. In the end time. In the end. Oh yeah. Get back to Abuja. Tell Mr. President that I arrived safely. Yes, and that I'll call him as soon as I'm settled. That's all right. But most importantly, tell his the son that he should be more prayerful. Yes, very, very prayerful. It is important. Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks, My driver will take you back to the airport, okay? Thank you, Pastor. Um, driver. Please, you have to take the, this gentleman back to the airport. Okay, right? sir. So. Okay, sir. So. And then come back. What's going on? Chuposa, we were at the airport to receive you, but you were not there. Please, I am very sorry. 
I finished with Mr. President earlier on schedule. I had to come back yesterday. What? You came back yesterday and did not care to even call on us. If for nothing else, stop us from rushing to the airport like fools. Please, I am sorry, Chibosa. Please forgive me. By the way, what, what? are they loading into the van? Oh, uh, well, uh, it's money. A personal gift for Mr. President. Money? Personal gift? <laughs> you, one, two, put those bags down. No, no, no. I said put those bags down, now! Look, uh, look, this one is the best. It won't be I told you, alright? The first one came from Mr. President. Go ahead. Go ahead. Shoot me. I said shoot me. Oh yeah, shoot us. This money is not going anywhere. It is our money. No. This is not your money, Chiposa. I for God's sake, stop shouting. Hear me out. Hear what? You are a thief. Don't you call me a thief? <laughs> Pastor Weaver, I say you are a thief and you are sacked. Me? Yes. You are sacked? Me. Yes. yes. With immediate effect, you are sacked from this moment. Over my money? The best no gift for me was the Well, I, to I told you that this is a best no gift for me. Right? You can't just take, take this money away. Mr. President gave the money to me. He didn't tell me it was meant for the church. Rather, he said it was uh, a personal gift to me. And because I've always thought of doing something for the poor, I said to myself, why don't I build an orphanage? So I called up my bank. I said to them, come over and pick up the money. They had barely arrived to pick up the money when Chief Ume and uh, Chief Bosa showed up and started calling me all sorts of names. Yes. Yes. I still repeat what I said. You are a thief. He is a thief. Calm down, Chief Bosa. Calm down. Let's resolve this matter amicably. Yeah. But Martins, what is there to resolve amicably in this matter? Let Pastor Weaver first of all surrender the money to the church, then we can calm down and talk like civilized people. That is all! Chifume, I think you're yet to realize that I'm the spiritual head of this church and not your slave or servant. Mm -hmm. It is because of the rude and unkind words that comes out from your mouth and that of Chiboza that made me leave the house you bought for me. And because you think I am your slave, you barge in and out of my house at will at any time of the day, you sack me today, you sack me tomorrow. But let me tell you something. This is not that house. This house belongs to me. And if this continues, I might be forced to leave the church as well. Oh, gentlemen, gentlemen. This church will not disintegrate. Not this church that we all labored so hard to build to the glory of God. The gates of hell shall not prevail over our church. Least of all money, God forbid. Pastor, how much is the money? It's 25 million now. I suggest the money be paid into the church bank account. It's okay. I'll do just that. Good. Thank you. Chief Ume, Chief Bosa. You see, as a man goes through life, he learns how to manage situations. Patience pays a lot. Well, I think this matter is over. I mean, if... Um... If the money is surrendered to the church, why do we have to squabble? It's all over. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank
Oh, oh, he's a pastor friend of mine from Ghana. He came to visit me. I hope no problem. Hmm? Oh, yes. belong to the same society and we keep on fighting each other. I don't understand what you're talking about, Chibosa. You know what I am talking about. Hey, is there anything to hide? You are a homo, I am a homo. That is the truth. I thought you would be glad that I know what you know. Huh? Pastor Weaver. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about why I have invited you here. Chief Ume and I have been very worried over our 15 million capital investment in the church. We think this money is overdue. We also think that we have more than enough money in the church bank account now that we can share. But since you are not keen on sharing this money now, it would be right if you allow us to take our 50 million capital funding. Listen, Pastor Weaver, Chief Ume is not aware of this meeting because I thought I should discuss it personally with you. Now that I have discovered that we share something in common which Chifume and others do not know about. Honestly speaking, Chibosa, you were embarrassing me with all you're saying. And if you don't mind, I have a meeting to keep with the mothers. Pastor Weaver, would you rather be straight with me? Because I know a man of your caliber, known all over the world as a man of God, will not hesitate to commit suicide if he is caught and known to be a homosexual. Yes. <laughs> is this some kind of blackmail? No, 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 my friend. It is just the truth. If you'll excuse me, Jebosa. <laughs> So you want to destroy me by putting me in this mess? I'm sorry, Pastor. I've known you for a long time before you. Oh, shut up! You fool! Who cares how long you've known him? I warned you! I warned you the very first time I met you that I do not want to see you with any other man because of my reputation and my integrity. But you won't listen. Because of that, I bought you a car. I got you an apartment. I started a business for you. And all I get in return is you allowing yourself to get into some kind of cheap trap just to destroy me. I'm sorry, sir. I won't do it again. There won't be a next time, my friend. I'm sure you do not know the degree of what you've done. But I will explain it to you in a plain language you will understand. I'd rather die than let the world know what I've been doing with you. Now you wait for me here. You wait for me right in this room.
Chibosa. I have called you here today to tell you something very important from my heart. And that is that we should bury everything that is bad we have shared together in our hearts. And also to let you know that I believe that we, you and I, can keep our secrets secret. And most importantly, to tell you that I have decided to concede to your requests that the 50 million naira you and Chifume invested in the church be returned to you. And I sincerely believe that this will make you happy. Yes. With this singular demonstration, rest assured that what we have shared remain buried forever. <laughs> church today. But I told you I'd be attending Pastor Weaver's church. And what was my response to that? You said no. Yet you went ahead. You know something, Tina? I'm worried. Very worried that since you discovered this new church of yours, you suddenly become the man of this house. Well, I don't understand what you're insinuating. running temperature, so I'm taking her to see my pastor. Which of the pastors? Pastor Weaver. Tina! Yes, darling. This year alone, you have attended three different churches, jumping from one church to another. Now you have discovered yet another one. I'm afraid you haven't told me what it is you're looking for in these churches that is not in the one we have worshipped over the years. I've just discovered you literally hate this man of God you do not want to hear his name. Your grievance is not just how many churches I've attended, but Pastor Weaver. I've told you that this man is God sent to whom the whole world is turning. Ministers, governors, even the president is taking refuge in him. It's only you who sees nothing in his amazing miracles. Oh, miracles? Is that what you're looking for? What is really your problem, Tida? What other miracle are you expecting from God? Look at us. The miracle you seek is here already. You are healthy. I'm healthy. Our kids are healthy. You have a good job and so do I. We have good cars. We live in a house of our own. What other miracle are you expecting from God, Tina? Tell me what other miracle. Now listen. 
I want you to retrace your steps. Or else you'll be asking for too much. For goodness sake, all we need to do is to worship and praise him. And he'll continue to protect and provide for us. And for your information, Pastor Michael has prayed for the girl and she's seen a doctor. We just need to make sure she takes her drugs and observe her. If the temperature persists, we'll take her back to the hospital. Are we clear on that? Are we clear on that? Yes. Then I said, what is the meaning of this? Mm -hmm. I told you this girl is one temperature. I can't continue to watch her like this. Get out of the car. Get out of the car! Get out of the car! I've chosen for myself, you cannot bully black devil. Madam, what happened to you? It's my husband. He's driven me out of the house. Oh, please, please, please sit down, sit down, sit down. Why? I met my daughter when I got home, so I decided to bring her here for prayers. Yes. My husband stopped me. We had a little argument. He beat me up and chased me out of the house. Ever since I started attending your church, every little thing I do, he beats me up. He doesn't want me to attend your church. Oh, no, 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 madam, please, 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 stop crying, please. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay, please, stop crying, please. Oh, God. Now, you listen to me. I want you to understand that your husband's action is born out of mere ignorance. You see, when Jesus Christ came, he was despised by everybody because nobody believed in him. But today, millions and millions of people have accepted him as a Lord and personal savior. So whatever the problem is, whatever, just relax, rest for a while. I'm sure when his anger has calmed down, you go back home, talk to him, make him understand that your action was born out of sheer mother's concern. I'm sure he'd listen to you. You wouldn't listen to me. You wouldn't. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Why do you do this? Um, you, you spend the night in my place, okay? First thing tomorrow, I'll take you back home and play the game. I'm sure you'll listen to me when I talk to you. Thank you. Is that okay? Thank you, Pastor. I'm good. Thank you, Pastor. It's alright, no problem. Please, just go with me and I'll get me finish for you, okay? And I'll take you home. Thank you, Pastor. Very well. Thank you. But promise me you won't cry again. You won't cry again. Good. Good. So just go.
bro. Hmm. trouble or less urgent steps are taken immediately. You boss, and what are you talking about? Pastor, how could you be careless for once? Somebody saw the woman came here yesterday. Jesus Christ! Hold your peace, hold your peace. You have me to thank for the rest of your life. Yes, because I have managed to arrest the situation. Mary saw everything, everything. Mary. Listen, she was actually looking for uh, uh, Chief Ume and the Elder Martins when I saw her. She didn't want to talk to me because she knew we are quite close for now. And so, but, but I suspected there is something she wanted to tell them, which she was hiding away from me. Yes. So, at a point, I called her. I said, Mary, tell me what is troubling you. I managed to persuade her, and she eventually opened up. She narrated how you brought a woman, and later in the night, she noticed some movement by her window. And when she looked through, she saw the mutilated body of a woman being carried by one of your heads. You also followed with another boy and drove off. After the narration, I was stunned. I knew trouble was locking by your door. So I quickly took her to my house, locked her up there with the pretense that I was going to fetch Chief Ume and Elder Martins yeah. so that they can come and hear our story. So, Pastor, what do we do? Buddha, you tell me. Tell me, what do you think we should do? Oh my God. Hey, 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 hey Pastor, you have only one option. Please tell me, what option? To save yourself? Save our church. Save your career as a man of God. Yes. You must eliminate her.
There's something wrong somewhere. And you have it. saving your life. You know, I think about the whole thing and I wonder who would want to eliminate you and your family. It's unthinkable. Sir, sir. Uh -huh. Thank you, madam. Thank you very much. This thing that just happened, we must not take it lightly because we don't know where it's coming from. That's true, that's true. Well, I've been to the police commissioner. I went there as soon as I left this place. And he has approved um, four armed policemen for your security. Two during the day and two at night. 24 hours. All right? Good. They're already here. I came with them. It'd be nice for you to see them. All right? Please, gentlemen. Chief Ume. Good yes, and then, uh, How are you? Uh, this is her elder Martin. Good yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, Pastor Weaver. So thank you very much. I'll see you guys later. This paper. Yes, ma'am. Oh, my dear, can I have a look at it? I'll send it in a moment. Let me look at the headlines. In a moment? Yes, ma'am. Okay, hurry up. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's bad news in one of today's newspapers. What's the bad news? Pastor Weaver predicted that Bradukas and two other ministers would die. What? Shh. Which paper? The Orient. Now, listen, Mama must not see this newspaper or hear the news, okay? Here's the paper. It's in my bedroom. me. 
No, brother. I'm all right. Thank you. Are you still bothering yourself over this prediction? Yes, brother. I said forget it. It is Pastor Weaver who will die. I, Dukas Ibe, have no appointment with that. He's a joker. Brother, I don't like the way you're handling this matter. Mama has just died over this prediction. And there is nobody in this country who will say that Pastor Weaver's predictions have failed. But whichever way, brother, please, let him just pray for you. Just prayers. I know he's capable of destroying whatever the devil is up to. Please. I have implicit faith in God. Forget about this matter. Pastor, if I see Joker. <laughs> brother. Four ministers? Yes, Pastor. Let them come in one at a time. Okay, okay sir. Oh, the honorable minister. Good you're welcome. Thank you very much. Madam, you're welcome. Thank you. Please, please sit down. Wife's pregnancy. No. What? Spell on my wife? How you wash it? I thank God you're here. Honorable Minister, you wash it. You are here to know if all is well with you. Yes. It is well. Because your uprightness and transparency has been guiding your life. Thank you. But there is an impending doom staring your wife at our face. No. However, your coming here today has saved your entire family from sorrows. Amen. Because God has taken control. Amen. Madam. Yes, Pastor. You're due this week, aren't you? I am. An evil one has touched your pregnancy. But God says no, because it is not your portion. And will never be your portion. Come on, wise. Come. Stand up. in your word that whatever we cast and bind here on earth is cast and bound in heaven. I take authority on that word 
as I cancel everything that is not of yours in this prime museum. And I rend useless every spell, every charm that has gathered around this pregnancy. In Jesus' mighty name, Udu Wushinki Maruma, Wushki Santaruma, Rustuma, Rustuma. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Honorable Minister, your wife needs very strong prayers. And uh, you need a lot of cleansing done in your house. I will come and do it myself. I uh, appreciate that you wish. God bless. Everything that is not of God is planted by man. I can say in the name of Jesus. No shikin sen gara babu ba. No stur babu ba. No stur babu ba. Mama mama kaka kara babu ba. Kish kishan babu ba. Wash kiri babu ba. Kish kiri san gara babu ba. No shikri ban san gara babu ba. So shikri ban san gara babu ba. I come against you in the mighty name of Jesus. I come against you in the mighty name of Jesus. Push Christ out of the way. 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 I have to take your wife in and do some deliverance. Mother, come, 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 come. Rush, Kri, Ba, 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 Ba. Move ahead. Rush, Kri, Sandra, Ba, Ba. 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 Rush, Kri, Ba, Ba. Rush, Kri, Ba, Ba. Let me take you to the garden, please, Bo. Rush, Kri, Sandra, Ba, Ba. Rush, Kri, Ba, Ba. Rush, Kri, Ba, Ba. I don't think there's anything that's on the card of this book. Everything that is on the card. Everything that is on the card. It's on the back. Oosh, Chris, on the back. Oosh, Chris, on the back. Madam. Yes, Kastan. Remove that dress of yours. Oosh, Chris, on the back. Oosh, Chris, on the back. I said, remove everything you're wearing. Everything. Wash Kriva. 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 Kiss me. What? I said, kiss me. No. Wash Chris and Mama Mama. She Mama. She Mama. Wash Chris and Mama. She Mama. She Mama. Now dig this. Open your mouth and dig it. Now kiss me. Come on. Wash. Father Almighty Jehovah, today I call upon you and I ask you to relieve my wife Jessica of any spiritual attack, any spiritual bondage that will make her not to deliver safely according to the norms of the Hebrews. Lord of Lords, God of Gods, thank you, Father, for this day in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. And amen. And amen. And amen. See, Jesus answered prayers, especially when the prayers come from the hearts. See, your wife has just been delivered by our Lord Jesus How Christ. Nice. Yeah. But the Honorable Minister, well, one she... thing is very important. Yes, what is it? You have to get closer to God. Okay. Because one who takes refuge in God 
always, at all times, defeats the devil. It is well. Thank you, Your Worship. It is well. Yes. Has any Dukazibi been here to see me or send someone on his behalf? No, sir. It's only the minister that has been coming. He hasn't sent anybody or telephoned? Yes, sir. It's all right. Were you able to get across to His Excellency on telephone this morning? Yes, Pastor. He said that because of distance, he's now worshipping in another Bible church near his area. Another Bible church? Yes, Pastor. It's all right, you can go. Excellency, you have come to my church. There is no way you can leave. It's a pity you do not know that. I will visit you in broad daylight. Another Bible church indeed. Unchangeable God. If God were a man, he would have turned his back against you. But he is a forgiving God. You see, because your attitude were like those who, when they're distressed and troubled, turn to God. And as soon as God takes care of their problems, they turn their backs again against God. Let me tell you something. The devil is a deceiver. Nothing good, absolutely nothing good ever comes out from him. Rather, he lures you out from God and then strikes. This is why you need to get closer to God. Come to think of it, Your Excellency. It's been one year, one whole year, since you last came to church, you no longer pay your tithes and make your daily contributions to the propagation of God's word. You no longer do those. It is not good enough. Get closer to God, Your Excellency. Thank you, Pastor Weaver. We have not been missing church services, really. It is just that the distance is not quite comfortable for us to worship in your church. And this is why we now worship in another Bible-believing church near our home. 
And there also we pay our tithes. No, 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 no. That is not correct, Your Excellency. That is where you got everything wrong. So one should actually worship in a Bible-believing church where he or she got his or her deliverance and received salvation. And there also should he or she pay her tithes. That is what is right to do. Pastor, I appreciate this. I promise you one thing. Distance will never be a problem between us. Anymore. Praise the Lord! <laughs> it's all right. It is well. Sorry. Take it home now. Sorry. Sorry. Come on, let's go home. It's all right. My regards to Madam when she comes back. Thank you, Pastor. You're welcome. Bye. It is well. All right. <clears throat> Here now. But you can do this to me, just my wife. There's a policy in this hospital. Nobody is allowed to see a patient under emergency medical situation. So, situation. so what do you want me to do? Could you please wait in the reception? We shall meet you in a few moments. <sighs> Thank you, sir. Your worship, your prediction has come true. So, so, what's the problem? My wife is under spiritual attack. Where is she now? She was rushed to the hospital this morning and she was still lying in the intensive care. As I'm talking to you now, I'm not even sure if she's still alive. Remember, ladies, just calm down. Calm down because I know God is in control, okay? Just calm down. Quite strange. I've never seen anything like this before. The baby was normal and intact. Her last scan result showed it. How strange this scan shows nothing today. So, what do we do, sir? We've got to inform the husband. Sister Grace, please send the Honorable Minister to my office. Welcome, sir. Welcome, Welcome sir. doctor. Please sit down. Was the state of my wife? Please sit down. Thank you. There is something strange about your wife's scan result. What? She was due to have delivered since last week. Yes, yes. Sir. And the last scan result showed that the baby was okay. That's right. Today, the scan shows nothing of the baby. Jesus. This is quite strange. Jesus. Strange indeed. Could that mean, could it be as a result of exertions? Not at all. 
At least there's no sign of bleeding. So what could be the cause? I don't know. It's quite strange. I've never seen a thing like this before. Does it mean that your equipment is faulty or what? Thank you. Considering the fact that the things we're about to discuss are things we all already know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't think they'll take us much time. As you know, it is just the three of us here that truly know our church and the purpose it was established. Oh, yes. We are the caucus, and we must decide the future of our church. That is why we call this meeting. So if you allow me to continue, I'll go on. Well, please go on. Good. I would like to first of all start by congratulating our good selves for exercising a great dose of patience. We have been patient and now the time has come for us to share our money. We have overcome every spirit that has attempted to destabilize us. To God be the glory. Amen. 
I also want to thank you once more, Pastor Weaver, for releasing to us our initial 50 million Naira capital investment that was used to set up the church. We are quite happy about that. The question now is, when in this month are we sharing the money? How much in total do we have in the account? And how much are we sharing out of it? When we answer these questions, then we'll be able to know how much is due to each of us and how much we must keep for church maintenance. Thereafter, we can decide what to tell all the members of the church council. Of course, after our entitlements have been moved out. Yes. That's why we are here. Chifume, you have spoken very well. And I'm indeed very happy that the both of you came for this meeting because I was going to send for both of you. So there's no need for you to apologize because there's nothing, absolutely nothing to apologize for. Yes, it is true we agree to share what is uh, in the church's account this month. It is also true that it is the three of us that built this church for God. And it is only the three of us that knows the motives and objectives behind the setting up of this church, which of course, is the London money for ourselves, to which we have an agreement on how to share. So, the question of how much is in the church account is not a problem because we all already know how much we have in there. But God spoke to me last night. After seven days of fasting and prayers, He warned that the money we are about to share belongs to Him and not to any one of us. And that the mere thought of wanting to share that money is a fruitless effort by the devil to destabilize his church. He said to me that he was the one who put wealth in your hands and brought us together to establish the church for him. And that no couple should be removed from that account except it is directed towards his purpose. He now said to me, that the church council should recommend some kind of salary or an allowance for you, Chifume, and for Chief Chifosa. He furthermore told me that he is aware of the 50 million naira I give to you, which of course he considers very right. You are a liar, Pastor Weaver. You are a big liar. Listen, God is not aware of anything. He did not say anything to you. I am the one that said something to you. I am the one that spoke with you. I am the one that made you to pay our 50 million naira. That's right. So you cannot fool me with God said. He, it is our money and we must share the money. But if you insist, we will go. But I bet you, you will send for us. And if you don't, you will hear from me. Nonsense. Are you still waiting for this girl? Saw this. God said, God said. I am here to know the new date you have decided for us to share our money. Share money? <laughs> Chimbos, I'm sorry. I think you got everything wrong. You know, because there's no new date. Is it God said? No, 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 no. Excuse me. Remove God said. Look, if you don't want us to share our money, tell me to my face and let me go so that we can forget about it. That is why I am here. It's Chimbos, there is no way I can remove God from what I'm saying because he was the one who gave me the message, all right? And he's the only one I serve and worship. That is not true, Pastor Weaver. That is just not true. Because you don't serve God. You are a common man, a murderer, a homosexual. Pastor Weaver, I will destroy you. I will burn and filter you like dust for the whole world to see who you are. And listen, your career as a pastor is over. And for your information, you are the only business I have now. I will make you crawl, Pastor Weaver. I will make you wash my feet with your tears. But you know what? I will give you one more chance. Hand of text month. You are nothing but a cheap black male. That's who you are. And listen to me, Chip Bosa. Don't you mess with me. I repeat, don't you mess with me. Because if you do, I bet you. You spend the rest of your life in jail. Me, Pastor. You, yes. me, Pastor. Yes, you. You are finished. I tell you, 
are finished. And let's wait and see. Don't dare me. Huh? I want you. Don't dare me. You think you can barge into my office? Huh? Even threats? I tell you, you can't do that. I've, I've been quiet enough. I have been quiet enough. I am the spiritual head of this church. And I will always tell you what God says as you tell you. There is a noise coming from the boot of the BMW. I don't know what it is. You sure say not the boot? Officer, yeah. it could be anything. I don't know, but there's nothing wrong in checking. Go and find out yourself. Please. Copra, please. Copra. Come, let's check that guy. Yes, sir. I have discovered about Pastor Weaver because it is now critical. He is behind all the attacks on us. Oh, sir, how did you know? Pastor Weaver is a con man, a homosexual, and a murderer. Oh, sir, these are indeed very grave allegations. Who told you all this? I caught him red and dead in all, and he thinks you also know that is why he's after our lives. I caught Pastor Weaver pant down with a man. He killed Raymond's wife that was declared missing some time ago. He also killed Mary. Good heavens. Because I knew all this, that was why our 50 million naira was released to us. It was a settlement for me to keep quiet. Mary was killed because she saw him kill Raymond's wife. So you must see that um, Pastor Weaver will stop at nothing to eliminate us. That was why I discharged all the policemen he brought to guard me. Because they would have been sure weapons in his hand. Pastor Weaver is not of God. He has told you point blank that you are not sharing any money with him. I have threatened that I would destroy and expose him. He says I have no evidence. Instead of playing along with me, he swore that he will deal with me. That is to show you how deadly he is. He told you God said. Could you now ask? Which of the gods? Is it the god he kills for or the god of homosexual? Chifume, we must act very quickly. We have only two options. To prepare our will and wait for his government. Or to let him pay with his own life so that we take control of the church and the money. Chief Bosa, I think we should alert Elder Martins at once and tell the whole church what we know. No! It's a cold war. If you involve the public, we will lose the fight. Because he will deny everything. If he says that we labeled him because he refused to share the church money with us, people will believe him. That's Especially true. if he buttresses his point with, with a copy of the agreement. That's true, that's true. Chifume, we have no other option. We either fight like men or wait to be killed like a chicken by a satanic pastor. Awesome. Oh, sir, listen, listen, listen. Wherever you are, you must see me urgently. Yes, something interesting is unfolding. Please, 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 start coming immediately. Yes. Okay, okay. Oh, sir. Yes. Our fears have been confirmed. Sit down. I have got vital information that has exposed Pastor Weaver. Pastor Weaver is building a palace at Lakey. A friend of mine who heard what had happened to me came to see me this morning and confirmed it to me. 
Hey, how did he know? My friend shares the same fence with Pastor Weaver. He bought land from the same family that sold land to Pastor Weaver. The crook is building on four plots of land. Four! I said it! I said it! Every step he makes is suspicious. <sighs> so what do we do? We must act fast and be on our guard until the devil is eliminated. Good. But first things first, we must go to Lakey and see things for ourselves. Of course. So yes. let's go right now. Good. <laughs> expanse of land. Just look at the palace. It's wonderful. Let's go and see. we know is not necessary. What is important is that we have finally discovered where our money is being dumped. How do you mean, Chief Ume? So, it is true. Eh? What is true? <laughs> Mr. Weaver, stop pretending! Excuse, excuse me, excuse me. Pastor Weaver, address me properly. Pastor my foot. Man of God, say the truth for once in your life. Are you the owner of this building? Of course it's my building. You're a thief and a satanic loafer. A con man who parades himself as a pastor. God will punish you and you will never see anything good in your life. Amen. You preach and steal in the name of God. And through your satanic manipulation and mumbo jumbo, you perform magic and you call it miracles. God will punish you. And you, Chief Benson, you are nothing but a two edged sword. Look at him. You think you're dealing with a human being? He already has you in his pocket. Shut up. You're nothing but a stool. I said shut up. Me. And stop babbling like a baby. Who told you he's told? Or oh, he's using church money to build this house? Because he did not tell you he was building a house? Chief me, who are you that you must know everything that our pastor is doing? Oh, 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 oh. Because you're the chairman of the church council? Must you look for your goat in your neighbor's compound even when it is not missed in Chief me, I'm asking you. Must you? Chief May, you must be a very stupid man for coming here to call our pastor a thief, me. an anointed man of God, the general to... overseer of your church, Chief May. A man you know too well that one person can give him all the money to build this kind of house. Chief May, you're simply out of your mind. And you need deliverance for speaking heresy. Me. Nonsense. Bosa, Chief Benson will not leave our church, dead or alive. And let me tell you, you've just dug your grave by that singular utterance. Me, Mr. Weaver? Pastor Weaver. It's okay, Bosa, yes. let's go. Uh, it is only a coward that speaks out his mind. <laughs> Bosa. We shall see. Let's go. We shall see.
Hello? Yes? How is it? Okay. Okay, let me just hold on. Mr. Bigger is gone. <laughs> Are you sure you didn't leave any trace? You're positive. Good. Good, good. Good job, good job. Okay, okay. So, Pastor Weaver is history. Beautiful. So, now we can take over. But first of all, we must leave immediately in case anybody from the church calls to inform us, you know? They will call. We have to leave right now. I have with you. Yes, I have with you. At last, the idiot is gone. I told you we must do this. Now, how much in total do we have in the account? Mm, 812 million naira. Good. Here is what we must do. Transfer 400 million naira each into our personal account. <laughs> Use 2 million naira to give him a befitting burial, you know, man of God, miracle worker, uh, presidential connection and all that. And they leave 10 million naira in the church account. Excellent. <laughs> right away. Yes. At last. Uh, Congratulations, my friend. Congratulations. <laughs> Shall be lovers of themselves and haters of God. Like a thief in the night, you will come to judge all the world in the end time. In the end, in the end time. In the end time. Oh, 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 oh. In the end. Oh, da, da. Men shall be lovers of themselves, themselves and haters of and God. God. Like a thief in the night, you will come. Like a thief in the 